Hi everyone and welcome to Mark for a channel. In this first video tutorial, we're gonna learn how to install Reshade and use the cinematic depth of field effect uh, for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So if you already have Reshade, you can skip to the second part of this video. So we just tap Reshade for UWP and go to final release and download this .xi. I already have it on my desktop. So double click as an administrator. And once the program starts, just go step one, just game, just game to launch and find Microsoft Flight Simulator app name. We press there and then we press again outside the box. It's a little bit buggy, uh, but it's already selected. So you need to trust me. And then double click on Microsoft Flight Simulator to start. And once we are on the home page, we're going to step two and we're going to press to select Microsoft Flight Simulator version, doesn't matter, dot X. And then press again to done filling out everything. And you will need to save this file in your desktop. I just type MSFS space reshade. And we click on generate reshade.ini. Once it's done, we click there and we skip. We quit Flight Simulator. And once we're here, we can start our sim, but this time through this uh, file. So double click in there, you will have this message. It's totally fine as the sim will start shortly. Once we are in the home page, you just need to press the home key on your keyboard and that will start this uh, reshade. Skip tutorial and for the sake of it, I would recommend to close again everything. It's already installed. Just close again reshade, quit flight simulator and restart your computer. I had some troubles uh, and I think it was because of this so I just recommend doing this once we start our computer we can go back again and this time run as administrator very important so again the message and we can go and start our flight home keyboard again and that's the most important thing D3 D11 and press Copy the buffer before clear operations. And then after you want to click two lines in the top, go back to home, and then you can activate your cinematic uh, depth of field effect. And there you go. Uh, you can play around with uh, the settings. I find real life, so uh, I think my settings are quite in the sweet spot, but of course, just play around, feel comfortable with it. And that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and see you around.